<laughs> it's not 646 yet. This is the behind the scenes with uh, Leo and uh, <laughs> Can you see Mom? Okay. Oh, there we go. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Uh, my name's Hans Araki. This is Bethany Wakeman. And we are here all together uh, celebrating the wonderful Rooster's Wife. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. And... Uh, It's one of our favorite venues. Can you see that? Can you actually see that? Oh, no. <laughs> That's why we're choosing. <laughs> um, yeah, and we, we were supposed to be there tonight, actually, and uh, for obvious reasons we are not, but um, we're able to, through the miracles of modern technology, uh, stream our way into your eyeballs <laughs> and earballs. So, um, we're going to start off here. Uh, primarily what you're going to be hearing is Irish music. Uh, with the occasional journey to Scottish music and maybe even an English something or other. Maybe. Right? Yeah. A New England number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, New England. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to start off here with a set of jigs, a slip jig called Last Night's Fun, and a tune after that that's just a regular old jig called the Diplodocus, and the last one is called The Northern Road to Tralee.
much, everybody. Um, this probably just looks like I've got a black piece of laundry on my lap, but it's actually a cat. And um, we were hoping, because he just had his dinner, that he might go take a nap somewhere. And uh, as it turns out, his... It worked. You probably can't see the second cat. <laughs> I have one too. Uh, anyway, we're just going to continue along. At some point, I may have to forcibly <laughs> remove the cat, but uh, the show will go on. The show must go on. We're going to do a song for you now called The Bold Princess Royal. And The Princess Royal was an actual vessel that uh, uh, is worthy of a song in that it uh, was delivering mail from London to uh, ultimately New York, but uh, the song tells of its voyage to Newfoundland, uh, where on it, uh, en route it was uh, attacked by pirates, and uh, they managed to make a uh, speedy getaway. And in the actual historical account, there was like, cannon fire exchanged and all this. It was like very dramatic. And they left all that out of the song, unbelievably. So, um, but now you know. It's in the song they just run away. <laughs> anyway, Bull Princess Royal.
again, uh, we're here um, in lieu of being at the Rooster's Wife and in lieu of a, uh, a ticket, you are obviously very welcome to uh, make a contribution to um, the Rooster's Wife via either PayPal or Venmo. Uh, PayPal is paypal.me slash the Rooster's Wife. And uh, all that information is available there on the YouTube page. And if you, uh, as we learned, if you're in full screen mode, you have to go out of full screen mode to see all the information, the links, and stuff like that. But, um, boy, they are, you're really not making things easier. <laughs> uh, anyway, but we do, we do love the Rooster's Wife. It's an, an amazing place, and it's, you know, restaurants, bars, everyone, everyone's struggling right now, but uh, a place that is so reliant on live music, you know, is, is in a particularly rough spot. They can't just open their doors and do takeaway. <laughs> 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 so anyway, uh, do what you can, uh, but we're going to keep playing no matter what, so um, continuing on with a set of reels, uh, three tunes, the first one's called The Famous Bally Moat, the second tune is called The Ivy Leaf, and the last tune is called Jack Rowe.
new song now called The Road to John Lennon. And uh, this is a song that was written by uh, a man called Willie Mitchell back in the mid-1950s. And um, yeah, Willie Mitchell wrote the original version of the song and then it was kind of, well, just uh, a new melody was written for it by um, a great singer-songwriter and a traditional musician named um, Tony Cuff. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a beautiful song, uh, I think. I learned it from the singing of uh, Aidan Brennan, actually, many, many years ago. Aidan Brennan, great guitar player from Dublin. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, all this music is on an album. It's <laughs> new. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, a record that we put out last April called, um, at our next meeting, uh, recorded in Dingle, uh, in County Kerry, and uh, produced by uh, Donna Hennessy, with loads of uh, locals there on the record. So, but anyway, this is the road to Drum Lemon. Springtime returns to the lagging again, and the lark sweetly sings o'er the green fertile plain. And I'll take the road that is dearest to me, the road to drum lemon that winds to the sea. many friends there on every green mile and the folks always greet me with a wave and a smile if I spend all my days here it's happy I'll be on the road to drum lemon that winds to the sea Sat round the fireside when the winter wind blew And we laughed and we sang till the night was well through Then we'd have a good dram and a wee cup of tea For the round to drum lemon that winds to the sea Summer days when we tramp the hills or to spend hours at the Edens or Cregan's wild shore, and the soft summer twilight make shadows to flee on the road, the drum lemon that winds to the sea. Time marches on from this place we must go, but I'll never remember while the heart beats in me. The road to drum lemon it winds to the sea, for the springtime returns to the lagoon again. And the lark sweetly sings o'er the green fertile plain. 
And I'll take the road that is dearest to me The road to Drumlam and that winds to the sea Road to Drumlam and that winds to the sea. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Well. Um, oh yeah, just in case, if you're not familiar, um, this is an Irish flute. Uh, it's kind of your standard issue Irish flute. Although this one came from uh, Virginia, uh, made by a man called Patrick Hallwell. And most Irish music happens in the key of D, um, or thereabouts. D, or maybe G, the occasional A. Uh, so if you want to play in all these fancy newfangled keys uh, as a flute player, you often have to switch instruments. Um, sometimes it's nice just to, for a different tone, you know. But so this is a B flat flute. This was made in France by uh, Gilles Lahart, and uh, we're going to play three jigs uh, on the B flat flute. The first one's called The Whistler at the Wake, the second tune is called The Humors of Kilclar, and the last one is The Old Flail, which I believe is a Vincent Broderick tune. And maybe the first one is too, actually. Where's Miles when I need him? <laughs> Take the back. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
right. Well, about as different as you can get. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a song for you. Um, this is called the Char Lady's Ball, and um, a Char Lady is a, a term used for a cleaning woman. Um, and so the Char Lady's Ball was a, a big fancy dress ball, a costume party that would be held in, in Dublin. And uh, for all the cleaning women and their significant others, and they'd come dressed in outrageous costumes and drink and dance and carry on. And uh, this is a, a song that tells the story of one such night. Uh, just in case you haven't uh, been uh, shown the, the culinary delight that is Bovril, um, Bovril gets a big mention in the song, and it makes a lot more sense if you know what Bovril is. So Bovril is a it's a beef paste that you mix with hot water and drink, and it's kind of like a, it's like a cure-all, you know? It's, it's, it's good for what ails you. Um, but it really is just it takes beef paste out. in a jar. Ah, yes. look at this. <laughs> it, <It's, laughs> Delivery. <laughs> That's Bovril. Wow. Um, we're not sponsored by Bob. That's that's a pity. I'm gonna put this away now. Um, <laughs> unless Bob, not you, yet. You know, no. hashtag Bob. If you'd like to, uh, you know, sponsor the event by all means. But anyway, so there was an ad way back when, uh, a poster with a picture of a man in his pajamas, and he's out in the open sea, but not in a boat. He's actually riding along on a floating bottle of Bob Roll, and, uh, and he's very ruddy-faced, and he looks happy as Larry, and he it says, Bob Roll stops that sinking feeling. And so that's, that was their slogan, and I'm sticking with it, and so is the song. This is called The Char Lady's Ball. Oh, one other little clarification is that it mentions a dirty night, and that doesn't mean what it's, maybe what you would think it means. It just means bad weather, so. This is a family show. Okay. You may talk them your outings, your picnics and parties, your dinners and dances, movies and all. But wait till I tell you the gas that we had when we went to the Char Lady's fancy dress ball. I was there with me man, I came dressed as Queen Anne. Came as a monkey locked up in a cage, and there were pirates and heroes and Hottentots and whatnots and stars that you'd see on the talkies and stage at the Char Lady's ball. People said one and all, "You're the belle of the ball, Mrs. Mulligan." We had one steps and two steps, and the devil knows what new steps we swore we'd never meet up again. We dad, we wine. Porter and Jemison, we had cocktails and cocos and all. We drank champagne all night till we had real pain. Next morning, the night that we danced at the Char Lady's Ball. Mary Ellen, no, Rock was the queen of the dawn by one. Dirty night, Tim Harper, the bester, came to rest as a jester. He burst his balloon and dropped it all right. Jimmy Barnes came as Bob Roll stops that sinking feeling. The stride of the bottle, pajamas and all. Then he bumped into Faust, it was gloriously soused, and they all fell down drunk at the end of the hall. At the Char Lady's Ball, people said, What an all yours. Mrs. Mulligan, we had one steps and two steps, and the devil knows what new steps we swore we'd never be again. We had we'd wine, porter, and jemison. We had cocktails and cocos and all. We had a nice sit down tea, then we 
fell down to supper the night that we danced at the char ladies' ball. There were cowboys and Indians that came from Drumcondra and Francis Street fairies all diamonds and stars and one of the roadies with the clock over moonies and a telegram boy with a message from Mars Mary Moore of the docks was the queen of the Scots with a crown now all words perched upon the dome and young Billy White House came dressed as a lighthouse and a Camden Street Garb all that should have stayed home at the Char Ladies Ball. People said one and all, you're the belle of the ball. This is Mother again. We had one steps and two steps, and the fiddle knows what new steps we stole. We'd never be dull again, we dad. We had wine and porter and jemison. We had cocktails and cocos and all. Danced rumbas and tangos, had sets and fandangos The night that we danced at the Char Ladies Ball into bed and you're horribly uncomfortable but you don't want to move because you don't want to disturb the cat like why did I mean I guess that's like just middle of the night thinking but here I am I was excruciating <laughs> trying to play with the cat anyway okay so that's all done uh, we're going to move on and do another song for you called uh, Land of Shore which uh, I got from the singing of the great Nick Jones and it's what they call what? When you tell people that there is a lag, there's no sync issue, oh. you tell people that, and I've written it here, but they need to hear it from me too, oh. that they can go to facebook.com front slash poplar night, K N I G H T, which is the Rooster's Wife website, and they'll be able to get your. Oh, okay. You should see that. So sorry, everybody. I, think, I guess there's a lag happening on, the, on YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. Um, but if you go to the Facebook event, uh, you won't experience that. Um, and it's facebook.com front slash poplar night. P O P L A R K N I G H T. Wow. Uh, I can't smell it. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> poplar night. That's my. I think right. also if you just search Rooster's Wife, it'll yeah. that's where it reverts you to that. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. Sorry. I can't. I can try to fix it, but it means ending the stream ah. and coming back. Meh. So, meh. Just join us on Facebook. One or evil entity or the other. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're all terrible. <laughs> but uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, but we're glad that you're here, even if there is like a delay. 
Um, anyway, this is a, a kind of a, a ghost story. They call these songs night visiting songs. And uh, anyway, Flanders Shore. to my love's chamber window where I often had been before just to let her know unto Flanders shore unto Flanders shore never to return to England As I was walking on the Flanders shore, her own dear father I did meet. My daughter, she is dead, he cried. She is dead, he cried. And she's broken her heart all for the love of thee. So I hold a breath unto England shore, unto England shore, just where I thought that my own true Okay, so we're going to play some polkas. Um, Carrie is uh, very strong with polkas. Also the force, but, uh, <laughs> but really polkas. <laughs> Recording these, th these are also on the, the album at our next meeting, which is available for sale. Um, uh, recording these was a real joy because we had um, Maeve Begley come in uh, on accordion, and um, even though we weren't in the same room, she was in the kitchen and I was in the, the recording room. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, she's just a, it's like a freight train. And so, you know, 
I didn't. I felt like I was hardly even playing. Like it was. <laughs> check, 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 check. It was great. Anyway, um, so three polkas without Maeve, unfortunately. One of these days we'll get back together and I'll be able to be in the same room at the same time. a song written by David Francie um, called Saints and Sinners and boy David Francie knows how to write a song I'll tell you that all roads lead well for me anyway they lead to Dingle um, I, I actually met David Francie in Dingle um, he just happened to be there and there First time I met him, <laughs> ended up recording a record there and recording one of his songs there. So, serendipitous.
it was Sunday morning in our town. I sat on the steps and I stared at the ground. I bowed my head while they shuffled past. All the saints being called to the morning mass, and off in the distance there rang a bell. Way off in the distance there rang a bell. And it rang for the saints and the sinners as well. Way off in the distance there rang a bell. Remember the lessons of Sunday school, and I can't help but think maybe I'm a fool. For I see no sign of a greater plan, just the joy and the sorrow of my fellow man. And off in the distance, there rang a bell. Way off in the distance, there rang a bell, and it rang with the saints and the sinners as well. Way off in the distance, there rang a bell. And here we stand, while life rushes past. Between the first breath and the last And here we stand between east and west And here we stand between birth and death I was watching the news the other night There was war on the left and there was war on the right And it's no surprise that it's us or them It's a long way from heaven Bethlehem and off in the distance there rang a bell Way off in the distance there rang a bell And it rang for the saints and the sinners as well Way off in the distance there rang a bell Yes. Yeah. I never know how to feel about songs that remain relevant. Yeah, right. You know, like bummer, but yeah, you're glad they're there. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Excellent. So a few years ago, I uh, was on tour out in Portland, Oregon, and we were staying with a friend named Jody Catapultis. And um, Jody's a brilliant musician, uh, among other things that she's brilliant at. And uh, I learned this tune from her on that trip. And um, she learned it while she was on a trip to Wales. And um, it turns out it was written in New Hampshire? I think so. I might yeah. have to look that up. Yeah. Oh, New York. Oh, New York. Okay. Upstate New York. Somewhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's a tune called The April Waltz. And I would like to play it for you.
you very much. Oh. I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't. That wouldn't be funny at all because this is a this is a called a shakuhachi, which is a Japanese flute. Um, father's Japanese, father's Irish, and. Uh, my first instrument was the shakuhachi, which is a tradition that goes back in my family six generations. Um, but occasionally it does lend itself to Irish music quite nicely, even when it's an English song. So uh, this is uh, a song called Our Captain Cried, also sometimes known as Fountains Flowing. Captain cried, we sailed tomorrow, leaving these poor girls in grief and sorrow. Why must you go for all, finding the strangers, when you can stay home free from all So stay at home with me and don't be cruel. She fell down on the floor like one who's dying. This house was filled with great crying and sighing. Well, we've got a couple more we're going to do, and then we'll call it a night. Um, once again, uh, huge thanks to the Rooster's Wife for being one of the real anchors of uh, an incredible music scene in an incredible state for music that is North Carolina. And uh, we can't wait, actually can't wait to get back. <laughs> to get back. 
Um, first place I ever had a cocktail on draft, by the way. The gin and tonic on draft is delicious. Um, anyway, we're going to play a set of reels for you. A great big set of reels. The first one is called The Hairy Chested Frog. And I'm not sure if that's about a, an amphibian or a Frenchman. Um, the next tune is called The uh, Fairy Hurlers. I guess fairies really like hurling. And uh, the third tune is called The Hare's Paw. And the fourth tune is called The Hairy Dog Leaf. So, get all your reels in time for Christmas.
once again, this is Bethany Wakeman, risking life and limb to come down here and uh, join us. We've all been uh, sheltering in place, uh, quarantining. This has been my one outing this whole. <laughs> Either in my house yeah. or in this house. <laughs> and we have a tunnel. Yeah. Let's see. Um, and those anyway. pneumatic tubes. <laughs> right. Um, Special thanks to our um, our producer uh, Colleen Rainey oh, back yeah. there on the failing at everything. No, no, no. Making no, everything no. run behind. No. It's like these mics into a thing. Yeah, typing. No, the people out here with typing. No. <laughs> it's all of oh no, it was great. And of course, of course, the reason we're all here to celebrate um, the wonderful and amazing Brewster's wife. And uh, until we meet again, friends. We'll see you down there at some point. Um, we're going to leave you with a song from, uh, that's another song that's on the record, but this was written by Paul Simon. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Take care.